My beautiful, beautiful, beautiful Pisces gang. What it do, you guys? It's your girl, Empress 777 here today with a general message for my beautiful Pisces soul family. I hope you guys are doing super fantastic. I most certainly am. Holy angels and spirit guys, please come through. Okay, let us know exactly what it is. What it is. Oh, oh what's up? No, I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> let us know exactly what is going on for my beautiful Pisces soul family. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus sign. Okay, these messages are general, you guys. Take what resonates. Leave the rest. Don't force shit to fit. That's how it works over here. How y'all feeling? How y'all feeling? Tell me what y'all got going on for y'all birthdays down below in these comments. Y'all know I'm nosy. I read all the comments, you guys, right? I'm so excited for you guys. Y'all got up next, okay? Aquarius about to pass the torch. So happy early birthday to all of you Pisces. I love y'all zow. I love y'all zow. Take a moment and click that like button, please. As well as the subscribe button if you want to make it official. We would love to have you. We would love to have you, baby. We trying to make it to that 100K. We trying. <laughs> We is trying. So go ahead, you know, make it official. Also click the notification bell so you can be notified when I upload for the channel. Y'all know I have a second channel, right? It's for collective messages. For those of you who don't know, I have seen some of you guys down in the comments saying like, girl, somebody is impersonating you. They stealing. Somebody is stealing. <laughs> no, I have two channels, guys. Okay. So check that out as well. That will be a uh, link down below in the description box. Let's go ahead and jump in. Okay. I didn't really gauge any like particular energy. So I'm really curious to see where this is going. Oh, okay. So we have drawing closer. Something is around the corner. Somebody is definitely creeping up on you. Okay. I feel like they want to bring things closer together. I'm not really able to gauge whether this is a old person, a new person, or somebody that you're loosely involved with. So that's something that you would have to decide for yourself um, in reference to the, how, you know, the additional energy that comes out should be able to help you gauge who this is. So I feel like you're on a different vibration than what this person is used to dealing with because this uh, drawing closer card does signify somebody who is a manifester, someone who is like, could possibly be a light worker for some of you, um, but someone who is very much so spiritually inclined. So I feel like this person may have put you off because now we're at like, um, I don't feel like a crossroads, but I feel like an impasse. I do feel things getting better though. OK, that's what I will say. So if you felt like things have been stagnant between you and this person or if you felt like maybe you would have to walk away from them based on what their frequency was, because the energy does feel a little bit off. It feels like there is not necessarily a problem. You don't want a problem. But if there's a problem, then that's cool. Then we got a problem. Right. That's how you're approaching it. Um, there is this important development here, though. OK, I do feel like this person is approaching you They're They're approaching slowly. So they might be a little bit nervous about what your stance is on the trajectory of this relationship, what the outcome is going to be. But I feel like they are going to do something drastic. So this person is going to come in with a pretty drastic offer. I feel like they want to woo you. They may razzle dazzle some shit. They may hop right out the window, even if you haven't known them for a long time and just be like, fuck it, let's get married. Like, let's let's just make it official. Be my girlfriend, be my boyfriend, something like that. Now. For others of you. OK, because this could be two different storylines is what they're saying. I feel like you were most certainly open to where things could lead with this person, but it didn't really reach this breakthrough sector. It feels like things were a little bit stagnant or a little bit slow getting off the ground. Um, it is an unpleasant surprise to this person if you're now like iffy about them, if you are kind of on the fence about what it is that you want with them or if you've already decided that you don't want anything that's even more surprising. Okay, dramatic changes, destruction of the old shit. So if this person portrayed anything that signifies old energy, you might have gotten the fuck out of Dodge for some of you. So I feel like that could be a problem for them. But let's just go ahead and dig in a little bit deeper. Let's see if we can see where some of these um, where some of this stagnant energy is kind of lying. Where, where is it coming from? What is the cause, the root cause? Because for some of you, you've been trying to figure this person out. They may be a little bit um, confusing. There's some confusion within the connection itself. I feel like you were trying to bring this together. You are this drawing closer card is what they're saying. So your efforts were definitely um, Possibly met with cold shoulder, distance, detached energy, 
lack of interest at moments. I feel like they weren't giving you what you needed to make you feel like you could just go ahead and dive off the headboard with them. See, we have stormy days. Okay, yeah, if that makes sense. So they've been testing you, right? You feel testy about this connection. This is really this person's energy. I do feel like they, they are kind of viewing this connection as bad timing. Um, you could have really just showed up in this person's life and kind of like, blew their mind because I do feel like when things were good they were good but it, it didn't quite get off the ground for some reason it's very stagnant or it didn't get as far as it had the potential to go and it is because of this person's energy they are saying that I don't care I don't care now keep in mind cross watchers you are also welcome here right so just place yourself where you belong in the storyline so we have somebody having a wake-up call but it feels like the storm had to come in order for them to finally wake the fuck up Hmm. I'm also hearing that for some of you, if it has been an extended amount of time since you have kind of disengaged or walked away from this, the important development that this person will be seeing, okay, this uh, sort of unpleasant surprise will be you with someone else. Bad timing, meaning you are already connected to another person or you are already in, um, like engaging with someone on an emotional level, on a romantic level. I do get that this person doesn't really deal with uh, challenges very much in their life, but you seem to be one of the biggest challenges that they've had to kind of face. I feel like they tucked their tail and kind of ran away. It gets coward energy. So you were a challenge for this person. Um, it's like bittersweet. They, they liked being around you. But you were also very challenging for them. So I feel like you didn't let this person just get away with saying anything. I feel like you didn't just let them get away with certain shit. You kind of held their feet to the fire or you held them accountable. Um, you were having the tough conversations. You were really trying to bring this thing together, you guys. OK, so I feel like they were counterproductive in what you saw or what you were trying to do in this connection. You just stopped trying. You stopped trying. So they do feel like they're learning a lesson that they don't deserve. I am hearing that, that this person doesn't feel like they deserve this. <laughs> so. Now, I do have manipulation. That's crossing this yearning card. I don't get that this is a manipulator, but I do get that this person has potentially had some manipulative ways in the past, right? Because they are used to being in control or having this like sort of chaotic energy, but like it is controlled chaos, if that makes sense. You weren't going for it. So you really caught this person out on their characteristics, on their personality, on who they are as a person, on who they have grown to be, who they've known themselves to be. If they're an older individual, then that's even more so set in stone. I'm hearing somebody who's really set in their ways. So you may have viewed them as a manipulator, but they're not. They just are very much so set in their ways. Stubborn is what they're saying. Um, arrogant and stubbornness together. For some of you, you're like, they're not a manipulator. They're just selfish as fuck. You may have felt like this person was selfish. Um, based on what you were bringing to this table, based on what you were doing, based on what you thought the two of you were building, you feel like this person was selfish. Okay? If you bought to this person's attention, their selfish behavior, I feel like they blew you off. I do. I feel like they blew you off. Or they potentially attempted to turn it back around on you. Or they ignored it. Just bounced right over to the, another conversation. And for you, that is manipulation that you felt like they were pulling strings or that they were not like taking it serious. They weren't like looking at things for what for what it was. So this yearning energy is this person kind of thinking back to those times. If there was an argument, a brutal argument before this ended, that is also something that is heavily on their mind. I'm hearing this girl has been one of the biggest challenges that I've ever had. This guy is one of the hugest challenges that I've ever had. So I feel like they easily get the strings in the relationship to kind of maneuver things the way that they want it to be. And that has also allowed them to not develop or grow as much as they could have, like maturity wise. OK, so you were a challenge for this person on multiple levels. And I feel like they started effing with your frequency. I heard that from the very beginning of this message. So you were you were definitely vibrating higher so this person would have already had to be on the trajectory to be vibrating at that level for them to even be able to meet you but I also feel like you were a lesson for this person as well they don't like to be challenged 
They don't like it. They hated tests in school and they don't like to have tests in their relationships. This is why they always make sure that they're in the position to hold the strings. Now, this dramatic changes card is about a wake up call. OK, it's about a shift in energy, you guys. So this is all changed. This is all old energy. So it's not who they are any longer. OK, so you're like, they could fucking have you. <laughs> they could have you. You even telling this person that they are free to roam the streets as the stray that they are. Or are you telling them I'm going to be for the streets, bitch. Fuck this. I'm about to just go do my thing. I'm about to go swing this nigga ling. I'm about to go swing this boom boom across the station. Okay? I'm about to do my own thing. That is something that they've never heard before. Whatever it is that you said. So we have too much too motherfucking soon. Okay. So there might be a little bit of stubbornness left in this person, you guys, okay? Just just slightly, slightly, especially if they are an older individual. I do feel like that, right? It's giving old habits die hard. Like, they always get to do what they want. Okay, it's not that they get to do what they want, but they typically go for people who are a little bit more submissive, a little bit more passive, a little bit more easier. They are definitely pegging you as somebody who is difficult to deal with, but you're also somebody who they've unlike anybody they have met before. <sighs> now this breakthrough card does signify a breakthrough towards success. So I feel like this is somebody who wants to come in and make it work. I do. The only thing that's given me pause is the fact that they've never really had to do that before. You know what I mean? I feel like this is like uncharted waters for this person is different. It's also something that nobody has ever gotten them to ever think about right because they've always they have always been in the position where they kind of get to choose how things are going to go you are difficult <laughs> but you're really not okay i want you to recognize that that's not me saying that okay that is this person they miss you they definitely miss what the two of you had going on they feel like you had a good thing going if they would have just listened right they feel like it was bad timing. So for some of you, right, like I said, it's a discussion or something where they blew you off. Some, some, something, something to that effect. You tried to talk to them. You tried to, you tried to have a breakthrough prior to now. So again, we have them with this control thing. It's like, um, yeah, I'm going to act right when I want to, though, right? You're like, you're not my mom. You're not my dad. Like, I'm going to do it when I want to. Hmm. I don't know if that's going to bore well for them moving forward I don't you know they had an opportunity I feel like they they definitely like shunned you they they, they closed you off they they closed off to you they they did something and what they're saying is you caught them at a bad time when you were trying to bring up that um, conversation they were already going through something this person is learning multiple lessons in the timing in which the two of you meet each other okay within the timing that the two of you are engaging with one another dating going out you know etc etc they have multiple lessons you happen to just be one of them so i feel like what on this day when shit hit the fan they had already experienced some shit prior to talking to you, which is why they shut down. You viewed it as manipulation. That's not what was going on. Let's see here. So this person wants to come in and take the lead. OK, they're not looking for you to come back towards them because they feel like you have decided that you're you're for, you are out and about you about to go through your little hoe phase. OK, <laughs> let me stop. that's what they think, not me. They're not calling you a hoe, but they, they're just like, damn. This is tough, right? I never had nobody told me I could tell me that I could just go fuck whoever I want to. I never had nobody tell me that they're about to, you know, just go and do them, that they're dating multiple people and they ain't worried about me. OK, ain't nobody here to see you of this. Like, please. It's something you said. Very shocking. Very surprising. It was a dramatic shift in their psyche when you said that or when you did that. So they're not expecting you to turn back around. That has not ever even crossed their mind. But they do feel like they don't deserve this <laughs> because it was bad timing in their mind, you guys. OK, whatever led to this separation 
or the lack of growth. They feel like you caught them at a bad time. They wish that they would have just played it a little bit more cool. They did too much. So we have new chapter. I'm trying to move on. I don't get that they've dated anyone. Right? I don't get that they're dating anyone new. I don't. But I do feel like, you know, they have changed. You know what I'm saying? Whatever you said to them, whatever you've done, this, this connection, this relationship has changed them more than you realize. Okay? More than they have ever expressed to you up until now. I don't know who they are at this point or when they decide to come back around and try to fix this or try to um, converse with you or bring things together or explain to you what happened. Because I do get that they want to take accountability for how things went down. Right. They at least want to have a conversation. Um, they could have been they could have completely changed. But what I do feel is this feels like a situation where they didn't expect to meet someone like you when they did. They were still stuck in their ways very much so, okay? So they played that all wrong. And now it's like they can't go back to who they used to be. So if they used to be for the streets, if they used to be a hoe, if they used to be slinging that dang, 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 if they used to be popping that bunch cat all over the place, they not, they can't really go back, right? So even with the lack of emotional maturity you would have seen in this person or felt in this person after dealing with you, you there is an elevation. You challenged them. They had no choice. They had no choice but to elevate in certain ways. And so they can't go back. You see what I'm saying? So it's like the connections that would have been acceptable in the past are no longer acceptable. They want you, but they're being realistic, right? They, they are being realistic about how this could go based on what they think you think about them. So I have been expressing that this manipulation card could be how you see them. But I feel like this is their, this is all their thoughts. You guys, this is all them. You know what I'm saying? You can decide whether or not what I'm saying about you is true or not. But this is their shit. This is what they are thinking. This person feels like you view them as a manipulator. You, you view them as a shit starter. You view them as, you know, a control freak. Somebody who doesn't know how to listen. Somebody who doesn't feel like they can be told anything somebody who is a know-it-all right i don't give a fuck if you're 50 bitch i don't give a fuck if you're 50 my guy like who cares if, if you're still on this earth you can still learn you can still evolve for some of you this person could be older than you right um even if they're not though they feel like they've had so much experience in life that nobody can tell them nothing um until you <laughs> okay because i feel like you was letting this person have it for sure. They just keep using that phrase like tough. That's a tough cookie. That's a tough one. There was it was a challenge, but I feel like it became like a desired challenge, right? Like a challenge they never knew they needed. Um, something about that was really sexy as well is what I will say, because I do feel like after dealing with a bunch of passive ass people, when you start dealing with somebody who will hold you accountable, who will hold your feet to the fire, who will say what it is that they mean, who will call you out on your shit to your face, straight shooter, pow, pow, no chaser, bitch. It sort of became like, oh, <laughs> feisty, fiery, fiery one, you letting them have it so they miss that they are definitely missing that okay so the two of you may have had some like um debates fiery banter like fiery back and forth sort of shit and you were holding your own okay going toe to toe with them they're not used to that people cower to them in relationships they get to control shit not with you so we have a reveal i want to tell you the truth so there's a confession coming, you guys. And I do feel like they're going to be extremely honest, right, about what they feel really happened here. OK, I let my pride get in the way of our connection. They do want to, they want a new chapter with you. They want a new beginning. And I also feel as though they're not trying to start or pick up where the two of you left off because where y'all left off was stagnant. It was in the mud. It was like not moving. It was not. A, it was like um, a, a merry-go-round is what they're showing. Right. Which which. If you look at it through the correct rose colored lenses, any of those, any of those transportation devices, are they really transporting you anywhere? The merry-go-rounds, the Ferris wheels, goddamn. The round, around, around. You're moving, but are you really? So they do understand that that's where your mind is. And we have, Missed opportunity. 
I didn't act when I should have. <laughs> Somebody's growing up. Good for you. I hope you grew the fuck up for yourself, though, and not for Pisces, because let me tell you something. You know, depending on where Pisces is, you know, their birthday about to come. You know, they about to be turning the fuck up. Chill. Good luck. <laughs> Good luck getting Pisces to, to tie themselves down to you in this next season, okay? I think you might want to wait. You may want to wait, okay? For some of you, you let me know what, what your thought processes are in reference to this person. You done? They're not done. They are not finished. This does give the energy of somebody who's coming back with their tail tucked. Yeah. Uh, very vulnerable. Very soft spoken. A little nurturing. They may come in with a gift. They may get you a very nice gift. Um, not that that will matter. But there is this energy of them feeling like, yeah, I can't just, it's got to be a lot. I don't give a fuck. If I don't care what any of you say, like their friends, their family, anybody who they're getting advice from, they're like, that's a lot. That's too much. Too soon. You're going to get this girl. What? You're going to get this guy. You're going to get this dude. What girl? No, 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 no. They're like, I don't give a fuck what you say. I know them. I know Pisces. I cannot have asked this. I'm interested to see how this all plays out, guys. If you have resonated with this message, we're hopping over to the extended, but first click the like button. Click the subscribe button. We're going to really dig in over there. I'm going to put the link for that in the description box, and I'm going to see y'all over there. If you're going to join your girl, let's go.